Hello, I'm Andy from the IT Help Desk. In this video, we'll go over some information about multi-factor authentication here at the University of Toledo, and also how you can set up and update your MFA settings. Now, for those who don't know what multi-factor authentication means, it simply means that when you log into your account, you'll be required to verify your identity using a secondary method, like an automated phone call or by approving a notification on your phone. Currently, MFA is used to access your emails, any Microsoft applications like Word, PowerPoint, Teams, and so on, to log into a VLAB from an external network, connect to a VPN, and more. Now, at the time of recording this video, there are two different MFA services. There's an MFA service which is currently used for setting up and changing direct deposit settings on the MyUT portal, and there is the main MFA service, which is used for everything else. Currently, you would use this service for any Microsoft applications, VLAB, email, resetting your password, and other apps and services as well. We also use the same MFA for our VPN client, Palo Alto Global Protect. If there are any other applications that require MFA, they will most likely be configured to use this service. Now, something to point out with MFA is when and where you can use certain MFA methods. The available methods you can use to sign into your account, that is, logging into your emails, Microsoft apps, and other applications, are by taking a phone call, using the Authenticator app, or by using a YubiKey, which is a USB or NFC based device that connects to your devices to authenticate. Now, if you're resetting your password using the provided link on my UT account, the available methods to reset your password are an alternate email address, SMS, phone call, or a one-time passcode from the Microsoft Authenticator. Now, one very important aspect of MFA is making sure that you keep your MFA methods up to date. Otherwise, you risk not being able to log into your account. Now, if you change your phone number, then you'll need to add that new phone number to your account. If you were using the Authenticator app and recently purchased a new phone, you will also need to configure it again for your new phone. Now, if you find yourself needing to update your sign-in methods, you can always go to aka.ms forward slash mysecurityinfo and log in using your UTAD username at rockets.utility.edu and your UTAD password. And when prompted, you'll verify yourself using your current method or methods and then you'll be able to view your current methods and update them as you please. It's also worth noting that you can have multiple methods added to your account at the same time. That means you can, and should, set up both your phone number and the Authenticator app. You can also set up multiple phone numbers or even multiple devices within the Authenticator app. Now, to set up your MFA methods on your computer's browser, again, go to aka.ms forward slash mysecurityinfo. Now, once there, if you are not already signed in with your UTAD account, you should see a screen something like this. So it's gonna ask you for an email or phone. You're gonna go ahead and enter your UTAD username at rockets.utilita.edu in this field. And then you'll just press next. So again, UTAD username at rockets.utilita.edu. And then you'll just press next. And then the format, again, is just your user principal name or UPN for short. That's what Microsoft considers to be your username or for your account. Now, after you've entered this, go ahead and enter your password. I'll go ahead and enter my password here. And then go ahead and sign in here. And then it may ask you to stay signed in. Um, it didn't for me, but if you see the stay signed in screen, um, you can click on whatever you prefer. The options are yes or no. Um, so if you're at a public or shared computer, like at a library, for example, it's best practice to click on no in that screen. Now, once you get to the more information required screen, you'll go ahead and click on next. And then it'll ask you to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app. So if you have not already set, installed the Microsoft Authenticator onto your phone already, go ahead and, and take a moment to download the app onto your phone. On your phone's app store, go ahead and search for Microsoft Authenticator. It should look like this on your respective phone's app store. Now, once you have it installed, go ahead and proceed through the initial setup screens until you see the option to scan a QR code. Once there, back on your computer, go ahead and click next here, and then next again. And then um, you'll see this QR code here. And so on your phone, using the QR code viewfinder inside of the Authenticator app, just go ahead and hold your phone up and then it'll scan the QR code on your screen. And then once it successfully scans it, you should see on your Authenticator app an account that reads University of Toledo with your UTAD underneath. Next, go ahead and click next one more time on your computer and it'll ask you to verify your app works by entering the six digit number displayed on the Authenticator app. 
In my case, it will be different. So I'll go ahead and enter my number here. And so once you've got that in, go ahead and press next. And then it'll say, great job, you've set up your security info. Choose done to continue signing in. Okay, and then once you have done this, it'll also, it'll also ask you to stop, sign in here. And then it'll show any recent sign in activity for your account. Now, we'll go ahead and add a backup phone number as well to our account. Now from here, you'll go ahead and click on security info on the left hand side. And it may ask you to verify first via a code again. So go ahead and just look at your authenticator app again, and then type in the code. Again, your code will be different than mine. And then after you've done that, it should bring you then to the security info page. So to add a phone number, for example, we're gonna first go ahead and click on add sign in method. And then from this drop down, we'll go ahead and click on phone number here. And then you'll just go ahead and press add. Okay, and then uh, you'll just go ahead and select your country code if it's not the default option, which is plus one for United States. And then go ahead and type in your phone number, like so. And then you'll go ahead and press next. All right, and it's gonna go ahead and call you, and then I'll show you what it looks like here. So I got a phone call here from Microsoft. You'll go ahead and accept it. If you were trying to sign in, press the pound key to finish signing in. Which is that right there. Your sign in was successful. And there we go. Now we have our phone number set up and then you'll see this screen call answered. Your phone was registered successfully. Okay, and now you are all set with your phone number. Now, say for example, you get a new phone number or you upgrade to the latest phone that's available. If you get a new phone number, you will need to update the phone number on file for MFA and reconfigure the Authenticator app if you get a new phone. It's recommended that you do not release your old phone until you have successfully moved your MFA methods to your new phone number and or device. If that's just not possible or you forgot, you will need to reach out to the IT help desk for assistance. You can also reconfigure your settings at the security info page like we used previously at aka.ms forward slash my security info. Now, if you have any further questions about multi-factor authentication, feel free to go to our dedicated multi-factor authentication page to learn more. You can go to the below link for further information. Also, feel free to submit a new ticket at ithelp.utilito.edu or call the IT Help Desk at 419-530-2400 if you have any further questions.